50 years ago, The Exorcist was published. The best-selling book became an award-winning movie and also inspired many people to turn back to their Catholic faith. Correspondent Mark Irons reports on the real-life work of exorcisms in the church today. These stairs are called the Exorcist Steps on the campus of Georgetown University, made famous after appearing in The Exorcist, an award-winning 1973 film. When it came out, many flocked to the box office, but others recall staying away. I was afraid to watch it. Why are you afraid to watch it? It was scary. The movie inspired by events reported by more than 10 witnesses. On August 20th, 1949, a Washington Post article caught readers' attention. Boy has been freed by a Catholic priest of possession by the devil, Catholic sources reported yesterday. William Blatty, a Catholic student at Georgetown University at the time, heard about it. Years later, he would write The Exorcist, a novel inspired by the reports that was then adapted for the big screen. Bill's hope that The Exorcist might enkindle people's faith was abundantly fulfilled. Blatty died in 2017, but his wife Julie says over the years he received letters from those impacted by his work. Scores of people wrote to, to him to tell him of their first visit to the confessional in years after seeing the movie or reading the book. At the Catholic Information Center in Washington this week, Julie Blatty was joined by others to commemorate 50 years since her husband's novel was released and the details of the reports that inspired it. All the things that happened were very typical. This is not an unusual case. Monsignor Stephen Rossetti and Monsignor Charles Pope, appointed as exorcist in the Archdiocese of Washington, reflect on the real-life work of casting out demons. The, the demon takes possession of a person's body and they, they, they manifest, they speak and act through the body of that person. During an exorcism, special prayers are used by a designated priest. The Catechism of the Catholic Church states, exorcism is directed at the expulsion of demons or to the liberation from demonic possession through the spiritual authority which Jesus entrusted to his church. Nobody drives out a demon but Jesus, and the, if the priest does it, it's only the power of the Lord. Monsignor Pope says about 90% of the cases he encounters can be explained by mental health or psychological related reasons. And for those actually possessed, he says they most likely invited evil in, using things like voodoo, witchcraft, Ouija boards, or tarot cards. Monsignor Rossetti reminds all to stay close to the sacraments and prayer, and says we should not be afraid because Christ has overcome evil. If you haven't been in a while, go to confession, you know, uh, you know, practice the faith, live a good life, and trust in Jesus. So. In Washington, Mark Irons, EWTN News Nightly.